Let's appreciate them once again. God's message to his people at such a time as this. Is only be strong. And fear not. Whatever may be your situation. No matter how hard, no matter how challenging, no matter how hopeless it might appear, God's message to his people. God's message to you as a person is be strong and fear not. When God said be strong, he will create for you an enabling environment to be strong. Every resource you need to be strong. God will make available. Everything needed to overcome fear. God will put in place. And the good news is this. God is set to intervene in the affairs of your life. God will certainly intervene in the affairs of your life. And God's intervention will result into a transformation it will result into a renewal it will result into rescue hallelujah Amen. and in the light of God's intervention you are to be strong and fear not let's buy heads has the Lord to speak to you in person. So for Lord, single me out for your word today. Oluwa epamiyo fun oro yin lo oro yi. Single me out for your word. Epamiya de fun oro yin lo oro yi. Please, I want you to pray that prayer with expectation. That in the midst of multitude. Pela ane bogmuero. The Lord will single your house. Our God and our Father. We want to thank you for bringing us this far. As we open the pages of your scripture this morning. That which you alone can do. Father, do with us. In the name of Jesus. Empower your word. Back it with power. And as your word shall be declared from this pulpit. Lord, let there be signs and wonders. 
your children that join the service online wherever they may be stretch forth your hand and let your name be glorified thank you almighty father Jesus name we prayed God's intervention in the affairs of your life will result into transformation renewal and rescue let's go to Isaiah chapter 35 verses 1 and 2 Isaiah 35 1 and 2 the land upon which you live the land upon which you operate the land upon which you work by the reason of divine intervention that land will experience transformation hallelujah Amen. listen to the word of God the desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. The glory of Lebanon will be given to it. The splendor of Camel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord. The splendor of our God. When God stepped into the affairs of his people, one of the things they will experience is transformation. And that is why I pray for everyone here today. The mighty one of Israel will travel the length and the breadth of your life. And the Lord will turn the desert and the patched land into a land flowing with water. That which has been considered a desert. That which has been considered patched. Will experience transformation. And the glory and the splendor that you were created for shall be given unto you by the reason of divine intervention. Stand on your feet. Lift your face unto the Lord. My God and my Father, transform the desert and the patched land in my life. My God and my Father, transform the desert and the patched land of my life. Please open your mouth and turn it to pray. That which has been considered desert. Where you saw your seed body face to bear fruit. Where you have made investment but it refused to yield. As the Lord to travel the length and the breadth. As the Lord to transform it today. In Jesus name we are praying. My Lord and my Father, visit my life. 
intervene in my situation. Let there be a transformation. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. As a lot of visit your life. Visit my life. Intervene in my situation. Let there be a transformation. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say after me. Oh Lord. Empower me to blossom. Amen. Listen to what the Bible says. The desert. And the parched land. Will be glad. The wilderness. Will rejoice. And blossom. Your life will blossom. Your life will blossom. My God and my Father, empower me to blossom. Empower me to flourish. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Lord, look at Jesus, like Badura. Listen carefully, God's people. A thirty bell again in your lawn. No seed. Cosigi. No seed. Cosi, you be. No seed ever blows on by accident. So lay, they don't put on. You look be caca, keep be by accident. Like it, that seed must fall into the right soil. Rain must come in the right season. And the land must be fertilized. The pest must be kept away. You're going to cry. My God and my Father, everything you need to do for my life to blossom, Father, do it with me. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. You are created to blossom, and that is what you are destined for. Ask the Lord Almighty to empower you, empower me, bless me with resources. With Wisdom with right environment in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Look at what the Bible says. The glory of Lebanon will be given to it. Oh, go Lebanon in Leo Hallelujah. Amen. When I read that passage, it occurred to me. What do you for me? That the glory Lebanon was created for. We build got a pete Lebanon for has been taken away. What it bala? But now, by the reason of God's intervention, God said that glory will be given to you. The glory you were created for shall be given to you. In the name of Jesus, you will lift your voice. My God and my Father, release unto me the glory and the splendor you created me for. Pray it in the name of Jesus. That glory, that splendor that you created me for. Father, let it be released. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Lord God, Jesus, like Badura. If you read Isaiah chapter 34, Isaiah, it was a fearful prophecy. Oh, yeah, so tell it to Derubani. But as we step into 35, we could see the light of hope. In the midst of your darkness, God will give you hope. The Bible says, The glory of Lebanon will be given to it, and the splendor 
of Camel and Sharon. I declare by the power in the name of Jesus. The glory God created you for. The splendor He planned you for. By the reason of divine intervention, they are released today. They are released today. In the name of Jesus, God will bestow glory. Your life will radiate glory. Your life will manifest glory. He will decorate you with his splendor. In the name of Jesus. The mouth of the Lord has spoken it. And the power of the Lord will accomplish it. Amen. You can have your seats. So the first thing that will result from God's intervention is that your life will be transformed. Your land will be transformed. The second thing is in Isaiah 35, 3. The Bible says, strengthen the feeble hands. Steady the nails that give way. By the reason of divine intervention in our affairs, we will experience divine renewal. I will experience divine renewal. God is taking away my inabilities. I lay say me. Uh -huh. God is replacing it with his own ability. Receive the final enablement. Receive the final enablement. Capacity to bring forth. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Strengthen the feeble hands. Steady the knees that give way. What is all the Bible says? Weak hands. What does the hand symbolize? It stands in for your potential to make it in life. The promise of God is that when you lay your hand on a thing, in that Thing, you will prosper. But when a hand is weakened, when a hand is feeble, such a hand will not prosper. Hands are meant to be lifted up in prayer. And when hands are lifted up in prayer, the attention of heaven will be drawn to the situation of then when a hand is weak, heaven will be shot against that person. Hands are meant to be to be used to engage the enemy. We do warfare with our hands. Do you know what the what the psalmist says? He says, He trained my hand for war. And my fingers for battle. He said, With my hand, I can bend the bow. But when a hand is weak, such a person becomes a victim. Today I come in the name of the Lord Almighty. Every hand that is weak receive divine enablement, divine strength, divine empowerment in the name of Jesus. When God step into the affairs of a people, they experience Personal renewal. The Bible says, 
those who wait upon the Lord. There shall be an exchange of strength. God will take away their inabilities. God will supply with his own ability. And in the ability of God, they will mount upon wings like eagle. They will run, they will not be weak. I speak unto your life today. God's strength is coming upon you. God's power is coming upon you. God's grace is coming upon you. Feebleness. Feebleness. Be it in the physical or in the spiritual. Today you are receiving strength. You are receiving renewal. You are receiving healing. In the name of Jesus. With our knees. You see, it enables us to stand firm. When, when a criminal is proving stubborn. He's proving he, he wants to engage the security people. Security people, they are so intelligent. With their boot, they will hit the knee. With their condo, they will hit the knee. They will hit the soldier here. The two hands will drop. The two legs. The that man will become a vegetable. I see God lifting you today. I see God lifting you today. In righteousness you shall be planted. No one will be able to uproot you. In life you will stand firm. I speak stability unto your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. With our need we walk. We run the race of life that is set for us. I speak in the power of the living God. You will fulfill destiny. You will arrive at your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Listen to what the Bible says. Because the Bible shows us where we can find strength. In Psalm 20, verses 7 and 8. Psalm 20, verses 7 and 8. Some trust in chariots. Some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and they fall. But we we'll rise up and we we'll stand firm. I speak divine lifting. I speak divine lifting. Divine lifting. Where others are falling, where businesses are falling, where investments are falling, you will stand. The Lord will keep you going. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand to your feet. You are going to pray. My God and my Father, every evil oppression. That render my hand weak. That render my hand inactive. You open shop, shop no sell. Your account has entered into dormance. My God and my Father, if oppression that render my hand weak, that render my hand inactive, let such oppression receive your judgment. Open your mouth and pray to God. If oppression, if oppression, if oppression that render your hand weak, Weak and inactive. Your hands are supposed to be engaged. My God and my Father, judge such evil operation today. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Lord, you can Jesus like Badura. Does it occur to you? So, if people, 
They can give you a money. A man share his own personal testimony. When they paid him salary, they made sure that he was not given the total money. And the man said, ah, the money you paid is not complete. I said, ah, we are very sorry. And they now pay him in cash. The man said, immediately the money touched his hand. He felt some sensation in the hand. He got home. He gave his wife the money. The wife also felt a sensation. But the attack was, was very more on the wife than on the man. Maybe the man carried more grace. Before the close of the day, the woman was finding it difficult to lift the hand. And the woman called the husband. The money you gave me, where did you get it? That the moment you gave me the money, I felt some sense. Now, the, the spirit of the man now hope. The man said, I also felt similar. Sensation. And they started praying. It was grace that delivered them. If oppression is meant to weaken your hand, so that that hand will not prosper, so that that hand will not make it. Ask the Lord to judge the oppression today. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. God, judge every for oppression around me. If oppression meant to weaken my hand, meant to render my hand inactive. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Does it occur to you? God wants to experience a stable life. Stability in every facet of life. And when the needs are feeble, the person will not be stable. Small wind like this will shake the person. Say after me. So tell me. Every if oppression meant to render my nail impotent. Receive the fire of God's judgment. If oppression meant to render my nail impotent, receive God's judgment by fire. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Fire! Cry unto the Lord that by fire he will judge those oppressions say that you are one in the name of Jesus. Lord, you call Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lord, you call Jesus. Like Badura, you will speak to your hands. Abawa, you saw that while you are. Topa Jemini on his any what they want. I speak to you in the name he of Jesus. My hand. Hear ye the word of God. Receive God's strength. Receive God's power. Power to prosper. Power to make it. Power to be great. Receive it today. Open your mouth and pray. Speak to your hands. Speak to your hands. Knees, that your knees will receive strength and begin to move in the power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. As God's servants, 
I minister to your hands. I minister to your hands. If your cups are broken today, if your cups are broken, they are destroyed today. If you attack, which weaken the hands, which render the hand inactive, they are destroyed today. The Lord deliver your hands. The anointing of God is flowing upon those hands. With those hands, you will prosper. With those hands, you will carry your miracles. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every nail that is weak weak physically. I later I minister healing unto you today. You are healing in the name of Jesus. Every nail that has been incapacitated by the wicked. Lives that are unstable. As many that have been tied down, that have been robbed of the power to run the race, I command the healing power of God to come upon you today. I speak supernatural deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your name. Lord, I lean upon the power of your word. I operate in my calling. You ask me to strengthen the feeble hands. You ask me to steady the knees that give way. I speak as your oracle. Let all the feeble hands receive strength. Let all the weak knees receive strength. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be your name. I speak to weak businesses. Strength in the name of Jesus. Resuscitation in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. You can have your seat. We said that God's intervention in the affairs of his people will result into transformation. It will result into renewal. And it will result into rescue. It will result into salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 35, 4. Say to those with fearful hearts. Be strong. Do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance. He will come with divine retribution. He will come to save you. He will come to rescue you. In the name of Jesus. The fearful hearted shall be encouraged they shall be rescued they shall be saved hallelujah Amen. fear is a terrible thing the bible says we have not been given the spirit of it shows us that there, 
there are demons behind fear. If they put fear in a person, and the person begins to fear failure, at the end of the day, what will happen to the person? The person will fail. The Lord will deliver us from our fear. The Lord said, Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong. Tap the person seated beside you. For what twenty to one leg bearing, the Lord said, Be strong. Oluanike, dear Lagbara. The Lord said, Fear not. Hallelujah. Amen. And what follows should encourage us. On to what tell you, God of Mua Lockandi, your God will come. Say after me, my God will come. He will come with vengeance. He will come with divine retribution. He will come to save me. Fear is one of the potent weapons of the enemies. Another weapon that the enemy is using is a discouragement. Fear, discouragement. Fear and discouragement. They are weapons. Strong one in the hand of the dead. The story was told of how Satan was trying to do an exhibition. And he brought out most of his equipment. And he put price tag on them. But for fear and discouragement, no tag. <laughs> and they query him. Oh, be satani lady. Ha, you put price tag on other equipment. Why is it that? And one thing is that the the equipment for fear and discouragement, they are they look agak. They are looking at this rugged, useless one, this one that, that is not even looking beautiful. Why is it that you are not, you don't put price tag on it? Some of you are sitting here and you are they are so special to me. They are, they are so dear to me. That I am not ready to offer you for any price. I come in the name of the Lord Almighty. The Lord will break the hold of fear upon your life. He will break the hold of discouragement upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. God's command is fear not. And when you look at the Bible, you discover that the command fear not dominates the Bible. He turns to Abraham and he said fear not I am your sheet and your exceeding great reward I am your sheet he will be your sheet he will sheet you from things that bring you fear 
When a child is afraid of darkness, how many of us have been there before? How many of you are afraid of darkness? If you have been there, raise up your hand. Now what? That's okay. Those of you that are not raising your hand, you are you are deceiving yourself. What are people going to bag me? You think I'm better than what I can do? Bag me. If as a child, if they put you in a room, you alone in a room, you say, "Get get your make cake, get one few ounces, no cook, no no yara." Yes, have they put you in a room before? As you walk up, ball and you know me, and you are happy. <laughs> and it was not the, the the period we are talking about. Nothing like a generator, nothing like power. Ah, come go down so you can see a roy, you know what? Oh, cook only. The child will say, "No, me, I can't be made. Look, I cannot stay inside this house." Oh my gosh! I go back. Oh, I mean, I go late. Run in the walk, go in. At that time, I say, "Okay, let me go and bring the light." See, but me, I want to go and look back for the light. The child will say, "I'm not comfortable with the light." Oh, so you don't want to go and look back? You tell me, Lord, no. The perfect solution to that fear. Oh, na ba yo kaso zoto pe fuelu na. Is either for the mother. Oh, na ni pe yala ki mama. Or the father. Kabi baba. Known unto the child. Well, you don't. Ito wa mama dada. Ito wa mama dada. Loved by the child. Ito wa mama fedha dada. Trusted by the child. Ito wa mama bekele. Now, when they hover to sleep with the child, what happened to the child? Ito wa mama nyan la ti wa kwe luwa mana. Kini o shele si o mana. And the same thing is applicable to you and I this afternoon. Eh, kengelo on shele si wa nan lo son yi. God said, fear not. Allah no so ikwe ma se beru. For I am your God. E mini o lo no re. And I will be. Yes, ni wo wa kwe lu re. With you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's with me. Oh, what we me? He's with me. Oh, what we me? I'm not alone. Why do you think the psalmist says? Yes, it all feels we pay only some we pay. If we do, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Be a little learning near for him for you. Now, you for a shadow to cast. One, there must be the object that cast the shadow. And at the same time, there must be the light. Back and now, God only imale. Without the light, shadow cannot cast. Light, see, man, like Kole, see, oh, Gigi. So when the same say, if we do, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Ni tolina ni ba tolina same so we kwebi emiti ya ni ni afoni foji. Death is the enemy. Iku ya otana that cast the shadow. E yuto mu oh, Gigi wa. But the presence of God is the light. That was with the psalmist. That embodied the psalmist. That gave him the courage to declare, to declare I shall fear no. I speak in the power of the living God. His presence will never depart your life. His presence will never depart your life. His presence will deliver you from the power of death. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I speak as the oracle of the living God. You will not die before your time. He will deliver you from the power of death. Those who plot evil against you, evil shall consume them. In the name of Jesus, God said, Fear not. For I am with you. That was our focus on Friday. And yesterday, he said, Fear not. I will help you. Hallelujah. Amen. God's presence. God's help. Are more than enough to calm our fear. Oto o sepu lati chongo bo eruwa and now he say. O wan wu pa ba yipe say to those who are fearful. As of all, I want to hear you. Be strong. Eji alagbara. Do not fear. Emma se beru. Behold. Ewo. Kiesi. Kiesi. Your God will come with vengeance. Olorun yi yo wa pelu eson. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah. 
No more delay. We have been cheated more than enough. We have been troubled more than enough. We have been afflicted more than enough. No more delay. God of vengeance, we are right. In the name of Jesus. He will come with vengeance. With the recompense of God. He will come to save you. So when God comes with vengeance. The coming of God of vengeance. Will be his judgment against your enemy. And it will be your own salvation. No more delay in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we pray, turn your Bible to Second Thessalonians. Chapter one, verses seven and two. Verses six and seven. Second Thessalonians. Thessalonica KG. Chapter one. Verses six and seven. God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you. Ah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is just. He will pay back trouble to Yo. those who trouble you. And give relief to you who are troubled. No more delay. In the name of Jesus. Let's look at Isaiah 35 4 from the New King James Fashion. Isaiah 35 4. I want us to look at it from the New King James Version. It goes this way. Say to those who are fearful hearted. Be strong. Do not fear. Behold. Your God will come with vengeance. With the recompense of God, he will come and save you. He will come and save you. Let me quickly point your attention to two things. With his coming, he will strengthen you. And when he said in verse 10 of Isaiah 41, I will strengthen him. What is he saying? God said, I will fortify you. I will harden you. I will make you strong. Those of us that are students of the Bible, Saul made effort to fortify David. You know he put his own garment on David. He gave him his word and everything. But the Bible said David was not used to it. So David removed all the fortification of Saul. And David submitted himself to be dressed and to be fortified by God. David, why you on that are? Let you kuni agbara, let you follow ni agbara. With, with God fortification. Pelu iro ni lagbara ti olonu. He brought down Goliath. Oma fa Goliath lule. I pray with the whole of the grace of God upon my life. God, God will fortify you today. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, he fortify you today. He will bring down your Goliaths in the name of Jesus Christ. The second thing, he will save you. He will rescue you. What does it mean to rescue or to save? It means to free someone from a confinement. 
to free somebody out of danger. That is so. It means to take someone such as a, you know, a, or to take a prisoner forcibly out of custody. It means to recover by force. It means to bail out a person. Listen to what God said. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people. I have heard their cry. I know their sorrow. I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptian. Another person said, I have come down to rescue them. So the Lord said, He will rescue you by force. He's bringing your house. By force, He's bringing your house. By force, He's bringing your house. And God said, He will fortify you. Stand on your feet. You're going to pray. My God and my Father, arise in your power and rescue me. Open your mouth and pray. It. Please be serious. Bring me out by force, O oh God. Bring me out. Deliver me, O oh God. Jesus. Are you In Jesus' name, we are praying. God said, I have had them. I saw their suffering. I saw their sorrow. I am concerned. And I have come down to rescue them. My God and my Father, let my cry enter into your ear. Arise in your power. Rescue me from this power that hold me tightly. Open your mouth and pray. That which they said you will not do. That which they said you will not accomplish. That which they say you will not complete. That which they say will not become part of your testimony. Cry unto the Lord. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. By force. Bring me house. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lord, you call Jesus like Badura. Do you know what the testimony of Joseph was? So, Montieri, Joseph, we saw. He said, Oh, we pay. I was forcibly carried off from the land of the Hebrews. By force, I was carried off. We're going to pray. Every good that have been taken away by force me. by force father get it back maybe it is your head maybe it is your marriage maybe it is your miracle child maybe it is your promotion I want you to pray to that which they have taken by force they use occultic power they use the money power they use the power of child and by force they have taken it away my God and my father arise in your power arise in your power are you praying In 
In Jesus' name we are praying. Please, I want you to listen carefully. You are coming out. I am coming out. The Bible says, the cowering prisoners will soon be set free. They will not die in their dungeon. They will not lack bread. James, James was, James was arrested and he was killed. Peter was also arrested. And they used chain to bind him. They put soldier to guard him. They use iron gate to shut him away. And they were planning to kill him also. Those who are planning to kill you. Their lies will go for it. In the name of Jesus. You're going to sing this song. How can he? The Bible said the prisoner will soon be set free. If we are wherever you've been tied, the bondage of the, of the hand that has not allowed the glory to that miracle that God planned your life for all the enemies that are debunded. Everlasting Father will by his power take you out. The glory of your work that has been hidden. Holy Spirit will bring out. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Baba, Lord, you can guess you. Whatever evil power, I be you. The wicked one of this world might have used to tie your people down. The power that tied their heads down. The power that covered their glory. The power that tied their womb. The power that tied their head. The power that Lord. Today. Destroy the power. Bring out your children. Out of the dungeon. Bring out your children. Bring out our glory. Bring out our promotion. Bring out our glory. Bring out our promotion. Bring out our promotion. You are not a man. That you will lie. You said the current prisoner will soon be set free. You said they will not die in their dungeon. On the authority of your spoken word. Father, bring us out. We will not die in our dungeon. Our promotion will not perish in their dungeon. Our bread will not die in their dungeon. As many that have been denied marriage. Oh, Father. Baba. Arise in your power. Bring them up. Today the hold is broken. Some of us have been denied that blessing of carrying our home baby. Father, today the siege is over. The yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus. 
so. For all our children, we bring them unto you. Let your glory come upon them. We declare concerning them. Nothing will cover their glory. Everyone before you today, fortify us. Dress us for life battle. Empower us. In the course of life journey, deliver us. Thank you, Mary Father. Glory be to your name. I speak transformation. I speak renewal. I speak divine rescue. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we are praying. Can I hear better?